Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, without wasting any time, let's just get straight into the video. So, you want the thoroughbred achievement. The achievement you get when you ride your horse for 90 minutes straight. Or rather, not straight. You can do it in multiple sessions or however. But, yeah. If you don't do horses, you're probably just going to want to do it all at once. <laughs> now, uh, the main method people do this is usually just by taking their horse out into a big field and rubber banding the stick of their controller so that the horse just rides in circles for 90 minutes. But, uh... You know, I'm actually trying to knock out achievements right now in one night very quickly, so I didn't want to do that. So uh, my mind sort of just immediately went to alternative methods, per se. And, uh, yeah, so what we're going to use to do this in under a minute, and this is going to take more than a minute because I'm showing you how to do it, but it could be done in less than a minute, this achievement. So we're going to use uh, this program called Cheat Engine. Now, a lot of people don't like this program they think it's complicated but um it'll be just fine basically if you follow my instructions so we come to the site i'm going to leave a link in the description for this cheatengine.org we're going to click this big yellow button like this and as you can see it'll download it the exe um, that downloaded two for some reason but yeah so just open the exe file install the program and then open it now when you do download it when you click this button because if you don't have an uh, ad blocker like me it'll open an advertisement and those advertisements can be from anyone and they can have anything so they can be pretty sketchy so if that does open another tab with an advertisement don't click anything on that page just exit out and you'll be safe that's literally the only sketchy part about this entire process all right so after you get the program you're gonna open it up here should be able to just type it um, allow it to make changes to your device yes and then, uh, yeah, here we are. You can full screen it. All right, so first thing you're going to do. Um, actually, you know what? Let me explain this a little bit. So what Cheat Engine does, it essentially just connects to your local memory, your temporary memory, which is your RAM on your computer. And it just finds values and edits them. So behind this whole graphical display, which is Farming Simulator, there's constant just numbers that are changing in the, in the background, right? So, like, there's values for how many sheep are in this pen. There's values for how much wool is sitting on each pallet here. There's value for uh, how many liters are in that bale. There's value for how much fuel is in that wheel loader right there. And there's also value for how long you've ridden your horse. And so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to use Cheat Engine to find that value and then edit it to something over 90 minutes. And then it'll just give us the achievement. So what you're going to do here, go into Cheat Engine. Go on the top left, select a process to open. I'll give you a list here. You're just going to scroll a little bit till you see that Giants logo. Farming Simulator 22 game.exe. Open it, and there we go. Now it's hooked to our game. And uh, this isn't dangerous in any way. I know it's like it's, you know, it's cheat engine and, and changing values and editing stuff. Unofficially, it sounds bad, but really none of this matters. Um, it's all safe, so. Anyway, now what we're going to do, we're going to go back into the game. We're going to get on our horse here. And uh, let's just ride it up to this field real quick. There we go. All right, so first thing we're going to do, um, I've done this before, so luckily I know the, the, the value type that we're dealing with. It's four bytes. It'll be set to that by default. Um, obviously, there's tons of different values you can scan for. If you scan for all of them, you would come up with just billions, if not trillions, of results, essentially. Um, but it is four bytes, so uh, set the value type for that. Right above it, we're going to do scan type. We're going to click unknown initial value because we have no idea what, what this, this timer for riding our horse, we have no idea what that is. But we don't know if it's measured in minutes, seconds. It could be any, any random number. Or it could be measured by any random scale of time. So we don't know the initial value, so we're going to say unknown. Then we're going to hit first scan. All right, so it's scanning. It's going to come up with a lot of results just because it's our first scan. There it is. It found 2 billion results right here on the top left. We're going to keep an eye on that number. All right, so now what we can do from here, we basically have two options. So what we're going to do is we're going to move our horse or we're going to not move our horse. All right, so we just moved our horse, right? So we tab back out. We hit scan type, 
because we moved our horse, that will increase the value of that timer, 90 minutes, whatever, whatever it's measured in. It's going to be increased because we just rid our horse a little bit more. So hit increased value for scan, then hit next scan. Just wait for it. And there we are. So we were at 2 billion results. Now we already narrowed it down to 5 million. So that's, that's pretty good. All right, now we can go back in. We can ride our horse a little more. We can stop it. Tab back out. We increased the value again. So we're going to next scan. Now it's at 700,000. All right, so now we can tab back in. We can not move. We're not moving. I don't know why my horse is glitching like that, but we're not moving so that that value isn't changing right now. So we can change our scan type to unchanged value. It hasn't changed. Next scan. Boom, already at 100,000. Narrowing it down pretty quick. And so now it's basically just a game of using these two different scan types, the increased value and the unchanged value. Let's go back in the game. Let's move a little bit. Stop our horse. Scan type, increased value. Because we moved our horse a little bit, that value is going to be increased. Next scan. 16,000 results. All right, go back in game. We're not changing the value. We're not moving. All right, so let's go back to unchanged value. Next scan. And you can just spam this unchanged value because it's not changing right now. All right, and now what you can do, um, once you get it down, you know, fairly low in the thousands, you go, you can go back in the game. And if your game is still running, if you have it in like wind windowed borderless, or, or I think it works in full screen. Um, but as long as the game doesn't freeze for some reason while you tab out, you can use this method. So just get your horse moving, race basically, and tab out without stopping it. It'll move on its own. It's still moving in the game right now. You can go to increased value, and you can just spam this. Boom, boom, boom. All right? Already down to 50 results just because we spammed that while it's still moving in the game. Next scan. All right, so it's stopping right at 50. So let's stop our horse. All right. Got to scan for increased value one more time because while we were tabbed in, while we just stopped our horse there, it still it moved and it increased. Let's do that. All right. Scan for it one more time. Now go to unchanged value. And I always like to just tab in and tab out every time. I don't know if it really matters, but I like to do it anyway. <laughs> All right. Then we, we tabbed in. We didn't move our horse. It's unchanged value. Next scan. All right. Narrowed it down a little bit. We can spam that. All right. Not changing anything. Move our horse. All right. That value changed again. It increased, rather. Scan for increased value. Next scan. All right. It's sort of stopping at 44. This is where it gets difficult because there's a... It could be multiple values. It could be just a few um, that are all sort of hooked to the same thing. And so you'll get, you know, stopped at like 40 or something. And it'll be hard to narrow it down any further. But yeah, our horse is moving in-game right now. Increased value scan. Next, next, next. 19. So that's pretty good. Now let's stop our horse again. And we're literally just rinsing and repeating this process. Increase value one more time because our horse was moving just before we tabbed out. Boom. Go back to unchanged value now. Tab in, tab out. We didn't change anything. Next scan, next scan, next, next, next. Okay, now we're at the point where all of these values could be hooked to the same thing somehow. I mean, they're all... Let's look at the uh, the address for them. So we have all these, we have 174, 85, whatever that is. And then we have all these 18 A's. 18 A, well, yeah, we have 18 A, 18 B, 2 C, C, A, F. All these, you know, similar sort of addresses, right? So they could be all kind of the same value. But we can also do, they're not changing right now at all. Go back into the game, start moving our horse. Tap out. See which ones are changing. Every one of them is changing. Every single one of them is changing right now. Go back into the game. Stop the horse. None of them are changing anymore. So that kind of tells me 
they are all they probably must be all linked to the same thing which is our horse timer so yeah we've essentially narrowed it down once you see that you can test move your horse tab out see if they're all moving stop your horse tab out see if they're all stopped so yeah you'll get down to this point where it might be like 20 different values right so at that point we can take and we can select them all and then we can hit this button right here this little red arrow and that'll move them down into our uh, memory view or whatever it is so we have all these values we're watching here and now we can basically edit them um, I'm trying to find a way to do like a collective edit um, if you can't do that I think you can control a yeah control a there we go that'll select every one of them change the record change their values bring up this little thing now let's just go on the beginning here add like three different nines <laughs> or three add like three nines that whole value and we'll click OK boom they increased they're not gonna say the exact value we increased for whatever reason the game is just updating that but we changed it we added like three nines to that so that made it just an enormous number right so we'll go back in game and now that's changed that that timer set up for the 90 minute minutes of horse riding changed we just edited that so we can go back we can look on our steve achievements i already have it unfortunately i won't be able to show you proof that it works but that's how i got it so we changed we found that value for the horse timer we edited it we made it something substantially bigger so now if you if you didn't have it you refresh the page you would see the achievement and you'd get it so yeah it's basically as simple as that you basically uh i know it sounds complicated but pretty much all you have to do is just find a way to find that value of the horse timer just by with those two scan types the unchanged value and the increased value find your value find which ones are changing here or if they're all sort of linked together look at the addresses if they're similar I and mean, if you get one that's not the same like up here we have this random 74 85 what and so on it doesn't match with the rest of these if you edit that it it really won't matter it'll be something so small um, it's not gonna like break your game in any way it, like the chances are that is not going to happen um, and if it does you can just restart the game and it'll be fine uh, this is just like a temporary memory editor so it only edits things that are essentially temporary or that you know the game loads up it's nothing real permanent it's not like permanent damage to your game so uh yeah so you select all those drag them down here with that little button and then control a once they're here control a select them all change record value change it to just add a bunch of nines at the beginning of the number here click ok tab back in whatever it should be changed and you should get the achievement all right, so that's all I have for you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it, I guess. Just leave a like if it helped. I, I don't really care, but I do hope it helped you. I apologize if it didn't. And, uh, yeah, good luck with uh, scanning for the value, and thanks for watching.